So a couple of things about this floor. It's uh, one of the main problems that we have is to texture areas over a large um, distance like this in a way where you're not going to see tiles. So this is a very old problem. You know, when we work from fixed points or from animations, we can probably uh, ignore a lot of it when it happens. But when, like this, when it's in real time, you're going to be able to go everywhere and you will be able to spot this tiling in no time. So that's very difficult, uh, very, very problematic. And what I wanted to do here is to try and replicate the technique that Eric had done in his initial scene in 3ds Max. So let's have a quick look at what he did there. So we've got the here the floor and what you see, I've actually turned them off, but there were UV map uh, coordinates. So this is a five meter tile and then there was one of 55 meters. Um, there was another one on map channel 3, another 25 meter square uh, channel map, and then a, on channel 4, a 60 by 60 channel map. And all of these were, uh, I don't know if I've still got the material in here, no, probably not. But all of these were used to uh, display a texture at different size which gives us this effect of being able to zoom out and without seeing any apparent tiling maybe tiny little bit here in the distance but hopefully that's not what we're looking at and when we get really close you know we still have a fairly um, detailed texture map without these being too absolutely huge in terms of size. So let's look at how I did that inside the shader. I think it's this one. Um, again, so using material instance to just play around with all these roughness values and so on. So roughness um, is all important again I'm learning all this stuff uh, at the moment and discovering huge amounts about roughness about how to work with it but I want to look at this problem in particular the problem of uh, UV uh, size and how we can get this tiling uh, sort of um, minimized as much as possible. This is really uh, what I want to get across. Uh, the, all, all the stuff about the roughness, I think, will leave for another uh, extensive training on materials, which um, I'm kind of thinking about already. Anyway, I digress. The uh, way that I was able to replicate this several sizes of UVs was to only import uh, export one because we can't have all these channels because we're using light maps on UV1. Um, I just exported this one at 55 meters on channel one, and then in Unreal, I uh, used the texture coordinate tiling here. And so I had one tiled at five, one tiled at three, and one tiled at one. So the one tiled at one is going to be the size of the uh, UV itself, which was 55 meters in this. So this uh, mask is going to be huge. This one is tiled three times, and this one is tiled uh, five times. So the way I combined this one on top of this one, and see you can already, when you look at them, you can already see some tiling here and some tiling here. So if I just put just that one, you would see that tiling straight away. But they are overlaid on top of each other using this mask. And that's really simple using a lerp node um, as the alpha. And then these two textures uh, overlaid on top of each other. And then this, for everything, I've got a multiplier. But that's pretty much it. So the challenge is, um, in this instance, to get the similar uh, tiling happening 
in the roughness and so this is what all these nodes are for but again um, maybe experiment on your own I won't go into any more depth um, about these because um, I think I would do it differently today so we'll we'll have a, a an update on that and the um, tiling for the normal map I've put onto five here because the normal is all 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 important in giving that you know sense of 3d kind of um, grain to the texture so I uh, this is going to be um, really the finest so I've tiled it as five at five here um, and to give us this this fine detail that we'll see when we get really close okay and uh, uh, well while I'm there I always use this node which is the flatten normal so and um, use that quite aggressively here in the uh, normal flatness is at, is at 0.8 uh, maximum is 1 and so I really practically <laughs> always flatten my normal which is in architecture we uh, tend to really want things to be uh, pretty smooth just with a hint, a hint of normal. And uh, just looking at this last bit here, so that was maybe, oh yeah, so this was, this was for the roughness, so again I just change the contrast here so this is the 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 roughness that I was using and so it's just interesting to see that it's very rough so very white and then this um, whole shebang here is for the specular which is supposedly supposedly not necessary anymore so I haven't altered this because I did this before but um, I will update you on this in the future there you go so I hope um, you can use this technique. It's very, very simple, but is very effective, um, and um, I think it's it's you know this is the way to go to cover large areas. So two textures and then a mask. That, so the challenge being how to get this exact same setup happening in the roughness. Um, so I hope um, if you know of solutions for yourself, let me know. All right, uh, moving on uh, to the next one.